Welcome back to Big Ramatha's Adventure. I'm Josh and behind me here is Big Ramatha, my 2022 Ram 2500 Power Wagon. Today I'm going to show you how to do a quick and easy upgrade on a 12 volt portable air compressor. We're going to remove the alligator clips that it came with, install this SAE connector on there, and that will allow us to choose between either running the alligator clips to the battery, which is a little inconvenient, or a much more convenient option, this seven pin connector. So I can just plug it in at the rear of the truck here. Now I'm doing this on the Via Air 450P-RV, but you could do the same thing on any 12 volt uh, air compressor that comes like this. Uh, the reason that I wanted to do this here is because I've got a speed flate four tire inflation deflation system. So if I'm going off road, I can deflate or and reinflate all four tires at once. I also have recently installed a Airlift 7500 XL air suspension kit on the rear of the truck here. There's two ports down. I can't see it underneath the tailgate here right now, but two ports installed next to the uh, license plate on the bumper that I can plug the air compressor into to inflate or deflate the air suspension when I'm towing the adventure behind it here. Stick around, we'll take a closer look and go through all the steps necessary to do this. Should be a really quick and easy one. All right, we really only need a couple of tools here. Got some snips and some wire strippers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut the wire here couple inches down from the alligator clips. Keep in mind, uh, let's do these one at a time just to make it easier. There is a thin grayish line, I'm a little bit colorblind, uh, coming off of where I, I clipped the negative terminal. So I'm gonna do one at a time here just so I don't end up, oh, it looks like the positive has that same one. Just so I don't mix up the wires, Gonna make sure that I only clip one at a time. We'll start with the negative. Now this is already sort of pre-stripped here on the SAE connector. We're gonna need one of these butt splice terminals that it came with. And then we'll strip a little bit off of here. Can't really tell, this looks like maybe 12 gauge wire. Not sure exactly, but that, yep, 12 gauge was right. So I stripped just a little bit of the end off there. We'll put this end in here. And then the other end here. Oops. This guy scares me. Stay in there, and then I'm gonna clamp this down. Oh. And let's crimp it on this side too. that's in there good excellent all right first one's done so now let's cut the positive in the same spot and again with our 12 gauge side here get that Pull off the end of the covering here. All right. Grab our other butt splice. Put that in there. And then this in the other side. Oops. I'm going to give this a little twist to prevent the wires from splaying out on me when I'm trying to shove it down in there. 
there we go. And again, just going to crimp this down on there. Wire popped out on me. Let's get this back in here. Wait. Side in. Yep. Like, like, like. Yeah. There we go. I can't. Now that everything's crimped on there good, all we have to do is open this up. And on the seven pin connector side, open the other end up of the SAE connector. And then these are just gonna plug into here like this. Now we'll clean all this up, plug it in and test it out, make sure it works good. Now that we've spliced the SAE connector into place and have our seven pin connector connected, the last thing to do is to plug it in and make sure that it all works. But before we do that, I did want to point out those ports that I mentioned earlier right here on both sides of the license plate that I can connect the air compressor to for inflating or deflating the airlift suspension. That's just one of a couple reasons why I wanted the portable air compressor here. I had briefly considered doing an onboard air system. However, since I have multiple vehicles, I figured that the portable system would work out better for me. That way, if I need to use it on my wife's van, my daughter's truck behind me there, my son's truck over there, my car, or on our uh, 2023 Intec OVR adventure that we pull behind here, uh, I can move the air compressor around freely and use it on any one of those vehicles. Now, the main reason I'm doing this now is to get ready for an epic 8,000 mile round trip to Alaska coming up this summer. Hopefully you'll join us on our adventure there. So make sure that you like and subscribe to see the other modifications we're doing in preparation for that trip, both on Big Ramatha here, as well as the adventure behind it. Let's get this thing plugged in and test it out. It works. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.